just the insane grab bit. Yes. If you need a capable individual, right? Always try to avoid. Don't think you're special again. Avoid. But the element of surprise is on your side. If you submissive, you try to talk him down. You want to be as sneaky as possible with the palm strike. So don't roll that shoulder. Some people do this. Boom, I see that one coming. And when he's when I when I see it, he sees it. And when he sees it, he can squeeze the jawline. And now you maybe don't knock him out. So I would suggest to what's wrong? What did I do? Really get the sneaky motion in. Do not show emotion in the face and just don't make unnecessary motion. Go from A to B in a straight line instead of doing that. Or loading up. He sees it coming. So go from this position. That's the first one is the most important one. In case we stay from static, so he's not coming forward. Just for the purpose of understanding this spike and protection of the head. So it's not this, it's not that, not this, it's all good. In this case, I want to protect the jawline and the neck. I can protect like this, very very kind, or like that. But I want to present points. So why waste the energy by doing only this, protecting me? I want to hurt him while I'm protecting me. Make sense? So I do that. So again, what happens in this case, I accelerate from back foot. Boom. Because I wanted to accelerate from the back foot anyway, because the plan for me is hit, not down yet. I grab, accelerate from the back foot by following up with an elbow, with a hammer, doesn't matter, yes? So get it in. So just for now, you spike and go back. Spike. And really try to close everything down. Don't do this, because now you bump in, inside of your uh, cover. So hug the head, present point. Make sense? Mm -hmm. You find your way if you do it like this, that, that, as long as you protect this. Now, can he give me an upper, uppercut? Yes. Is that a knockout? No. Do you need new teeth? Yes. But the point is, I don't want you to go knock, knock out. Make sure knock out. So do that, get the point in the, in the center of the pad for now. Just loop around. This can be here, this can be here, this can be there. I just want a looping motion. Because she cannot escape you. Spike. Loop. Elbow. Yeah, for the perspective of the camera, you know, just protect it. Yes, and now in the flow. Again. Again. Make sense? So she needs to twist core, so she uses the right part of the elbow. Slice, cut open. Make sense? Yeah. There, boom. Yes, keep it in, keep it really tight. You spike, you grab, you hit. Don't make, don't do this, boom. That's great, but it's not really realistic. In, grab, hit. Yes. I explain you, spike, protect, hit. But I'll, when I grab somebody, I spike in a final attachment. Now this one is protecting the side of my jawline, so I now can boom, work from this relatively safe split second time moment. Make sense? Yes. Yes. So raise the shoulder up. In, I go forward. And then grab and attack. I understand what's going to happen. Mark is going to hit my face because he's coming press, press forward. If I'm nonchalant now, he will hit me on the jawline. Boom. I don't want that. So understand what you're doing. When he smacks me as hard as he can, like when he smacks me, boom. Just back, huh? Yeah. Sorry. Again. Harder. Harder. Again. That's the integrity you need. Remember, you just hit him, now he comes forward, boom. Don't do that then. The fuck is that? You will get boom. He's, yes. Even then, now it's easy, he has a big glove on. But when you do it with an MMA glove, now you understand like, oh shit, really make tight. Now you can always choose if it's coming from that or that direction. So I would find a one way solution for both directions. Now, is it perfect? No, nothing in life is perfect. Especially the ass of my girlfriend. I want to <laughs> Cut it out. Yes. So don't be sloppy. Not a whole drill. Ready? <laughs> He was going to avoid an escape yesterday. I tried to hit, and now the individual. She can fuck with the response. Fast, uh, fact is, if she waits too long, let's say 
I'm hitting and she's standing there waiting too long. That's what I follow up. I get this <laughs> directly attack. Yeah, but that's not the purpose of this drill. To show you what happens if you have something crashing in. Don't so it's too easy for me. But this <laughs> you see what I'm doing? That's the same mm -hmm. structure. That's individual coming forward. Get this gun. <laughs> and you stop until man is down. This is how you train the brain to stop and to continue the attack. So she can play with the response. Look at this. You see now, I, I anticipate it because of the drill. Is that bad if I did this? No. I just maybe attacked her with a spike or when she was out of reach because she went back and I follow up like this. Boom! Or like that. Boom! Doesn't matter. Safer thing to do is then to hit. Wait, what's happening? Put my hands down. Yes. So it's a funny thing. She did this to surprise me, and she surprised me. But what's wrong with having this? We continue to attack. <laughs> Not very beautiful, but it's more technical because of the bad feet. As long as you get this in. Now on the side. <laughs> now, she was like, huh? After two, you went to the floor, right? Still standing, so now she was like, oh. Uh. Two, two more. It's whole point of the drill. Yes. Yes. Yeah. One side only. If you like this content, please follow and subscribe. If you don't like this content, move on, bitch. If you need an online course, hit the link below. Yeah.